Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we focus on making informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Techno Analysis Trading Plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. Before we pull up our video, we always want to start off our disclosures. Any symbols you see today should not be referred as a trading recommendation. No matter what foreign investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can't lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for informational purposes only, future results not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility, trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our forex technical analysis trading plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. In each video, we look at the prior session's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll review the gold chart to come up with leading sentiment. We'll try to create a low volatility and inside bar watch list, and we have an education spotlight at the end. Please send your feedback and comments to contact at dmbfx.com, and let's head to the charts. So here we are looking at gold making new highs. You know, we've been talking about this range, and so once we got above 1632, that's new highs, and we're up about $20 beyond that. So, um, you know, it's one of those things where the safe trade is waiting for a pullback, but you got that's this is why you got to draw your lines. And so now it's going to be interesting to see if that 1530 will hold up as support as it continues to move higher. Uh, again, what we've been talking about was this range and seeing what happens, hoping for a pullback, but we said to watch this range and we broke out of that. We've had the confirmation, and today probably was that sell the news. The, uh, everything's okay with the U.S. debt ceiling, and it didn't have the impact probably many thought because it was a sell the news type reaction. Meanwhile, we're still seeing that flight to gold as uh, safety uh, as for investors. Um, we can see one thing that, that I do want to point out is that our move up here really is on, I mean, there's really almost no resistance. Little resistance in here, but for the most part, we just went straight up. So what that means, there's a possibility to come straight back down. And you notice where, where is there a little volume at that we said maybe uh, 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 will it hold up in support? And that is at our 1530 price level. And this area here is 1530. So we'll see what happens. So with strong gold, what does that mean to the dollar and some of our dollar currency pairs? Well, the uh, what we can see here on the pound dollar is that we're still in a larger range and we're seeing to be pulling back. But as we pointed out yesterday, this 20 and 50 moving average acting as support. Likewise, this price level of 1.62 is a place where buyers in the past have found value. So it's not surprising that we stopped that along with the 20 and the 50 moving average. Still, I, you know, I still kind of believe we're in a sit on hands type scenario. But since we did go a little bit lower today, uh, we can talk about a couple of things. First of all, we are below our long term moving average just, just by a little bit. But we are in a buy zone also on our Bollinger Band setup. Now, one thing we'll notice is that there's a lot of consolidation here. And so this is something that you're going to want to watch. Uh, you know, we're up here around 163 and down here around 1625. You know, that's a price level that you're going to want to watch. But notice, again, down here 1.622, there is a wick buy here too. But what I want you to see is this consolidation range and see if this is a breakout price level. We can see that the dollar has taken control, but you can see they're not diverging. They're running side by side, and that's why uh, once the dollar took control, we got our pullback here, but now we're kind of going sideways. We also can see that each individual pair is averaging down, and again, that's why we're seeing sideways action versus uh, no movement up or down, no trend. So again, I would watch the six six three two six two five price level and see what happens. See if we get some volume as we break out of that price level. Now with the euro dollar, we can see the same thing: some continued weakness, 
and we can see that this is where 1.42, 1.41, this is where buyers in the past have found value and brought it back up. So uh, it's not you know surprising to see what we, we pause here. What is different is that we can see here we're below the 20 to 50 million average, so that's a little bit more bearish. But we are uh, below our long-term moving average. We are in a buy zone, and we can see that the dollar is in control. The dollar in control is why this has moved down, but just like the pound, we're starting to see some sideways action. Uh, the big difference here is although both are averaging down, the, as we can see here, the dollar did make a brief move up, causing a down move action. So it, if the dollar it remains in control, then that's the buyers uh, will be losing out here, and the pair will continue to move down to our next support area, which is around 1.4. Zero five zero. Finally, we're looking at the dollar franc, and just you know, again, just a beautiful trend, just a beautiful trend. Um, uh, but you know, this is another example of just because we're in a buy zone doesn't mean we're going up. Now we hit the band, we did go up, so there was a, a scalp hit the band, we did go up, there's a scout, so where we are right now is going to be interesting. So we're below our long-term moving average big time, we're in a buy zone, uh, the franc is in control, um, and even when they were running parallel, price action did start to move down again as the franc began to diverge away from the dollar. But notice that they're both above zero. So the dollar is trying, the dollar is trying, but what you really can see is, as we saw before, the dollar is averaging down while the franc is averaging higher. So, you know, that is why we're seeing the franc being in control. Definitely oversold, definitely in a buy zone, uh, but we need the dollar to cross back up and take control of the situation in order for this pair to rise. Okay, as we transition over to our watch list, we do have some candidates today for our low volatility watch list. Again, this is using a one hour time frame and our standard Bollinger Bands, marking a high and a low. We're currently watching the pound dollar and see if we can get a breakout. And for our inside bar watches, we're watching all of the yen currency pairs, the dollar yen, the pound yen, the euro yen. And again, for the inside bar watches, we're marking a high and a low of today's range, watching for a breakout, preferably in the direction of the trend. So as we move to our educational spotlight, uh, we've been we started using the book The Intelligent Investor. And so the obvious question is, is what exactly is an intelligent investor? Well, it simply means being patient, disciplined, and eager to learn. The market is constantly changing and evolving, so you have to change and adjust with that. So you have to stay uh, in a learning mode. You have to learn the market's behaviors, its current climate, its current conditions, and adjust to that. That doesn't mean that you're still not patient and disciplined. It just means that you're adjusting your system to uh, still have that positive expectancy in the current climate. Strategies during the 2008 crash, 2009 crash, may not be working in 2011. Uh, when the book was written, those strategies may not be working out. So you have to take these strategies, personalize them to who you are as a trader, and then make sure that they fit with where the market is today. You can find plenty of educational videos on all the various trading setups and indicators on our YouTube and Twitter accounts. And we got a page on Facebook, Are You Financially Literate? And then we have some other resources for you. If you're learning to trade, why not figure out how to trade your own high probability trading setups? We got a free course that will help you put that structure around. And we hope that by seeing how we structure ourselves and how we believe about the market, you'll be interested in our coaching where we'll work with you one-on-one, -on -one, help you develop that personalized trading plan for today's climate so that you can have that psychological capital to enact your plan. Also, if you're trading Forex, you might as well get paid to trade. It doesn't change any of the conditions, the spreads, or anything. All it is is rebates for your trade. And then finally, if you want some signals, we have that for you. A bunch of different providers. And it can be traded automatically, or you can get the signals and trade them yourself. 
as we said, it's not about the system the indicator. It's about the trader's mindset. It's about being an intelligent investor, and we can help you through our coaching and mentoring process. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.